Now here's a lookup situation. We have column headers. These are the names of the sales teams. In each column, we have a bunch of sales rep. And from this cell, we need to select a sales rep and then pull out the name of the sales team and return it to this cell. However, if I change it, we'll change it to magic. Well, magic is on two teams. So now I'm going to need to look up both team names. Now, seven years ago, I did a video on this topic. And boy, was the formula complicated. The solution had one, two, three, four different helper cells, including frequency. And then the lookup used index, sum product, and column when we were looking up column header. And for row, index, sum product, and row. Now, talk about an unusual lookup situation. Here's the lookup value, and we need to find a match in a rectangular range. Well, I'm just going to ask the question, hey, rectangle, are any of you equal to Kenny? This will spill a bunch of trues and falses. And sure enough, I see the true here, which matches up with the team name I need to bring back. Well, guess what? What do we need to do for each column in order to pick it out? We need to run an OR logical test. Because we have a bunch of falses and one true, well, all you need for an OR logical test to get a true is at least one true. All the rest, if we ran an OR logical test column by column, would get a false. Well, F2, we need to do something on an array column by column. So we use by call. There's the array, comma. And we're not picking from the dropdown. We're just going to use any old function, eta, lambda, or. Now, the cool thing about or is it's an aggregate function, just like the and logical test function, and not. So if we get a true from all of these falses and trues, it just returns one true. And when I control Enter, it's just going to return one true and false for every single one of the team names in the headers. So F2, since I have a row with nine trues and falses, I'm just going to use filter. Here are the team names. Close parentheses. And check that out. And include by call with an or at a lambda. Close parentheses and enter. It is working like a charm. If I select magic, bam, filter returns both of them. In this situation, we're never going to get a sales rep listed twice on a single team. We could use an alternative formula, ifs, and I'm going to use the same logical test. Hey, rectangle, how many of you are equal to whatever's there, comma. If you see some trues, just give me whatever's in the column headers. Now, this will return a rectangular range. And guess what? I'm not going to put in a value for if we get a false. So what does this function do? It delivers NAs. What can we do then? Well, I need it in a row, right? So to row, there's the array. And look at that. I can ignore stuff. So I'm going to say 3, ignore blanks and errors, close parentheses, enter you got to be kidding me. Is that working too? If I look up my, sure enough, old guy BMX sales team, she's on that team. Both formulas work. Now, if I have my listed twice, well, this one's not going to work. Filter, though, has no problem. Now, we can amend to row, or the example we're going to look at in just a second is to call with unique to avoid this problem. But forget it, filter and buy calls with an or at a lambda logical test. I like that one. Control Z. Now in boomerang competition, for example, at the boomerang World Cup, you can have two events on one day. And in this situation, we can use filter and buy row. But if we want to use the if solution, we'll run into a problem. And we'll see how to fix it. Right here, we have trick catch, and we can see day two and day three. If I choose relay, no problem. It's run on every single day except for day two and twice on day five. And the formulas are working. 
I'm asking the question, hey, all of you events in a rectangle, are any of you equal to trick cash? We can see we get some trues and falses, but this time we need to pick out row headers. So I need to go by row and run an or logical test. There we have by row, comma, or, close parentheses, and you got to be kidding me. Yep, or is aggregate. So it returns one true or false for each row. Now we can pick out what we want. F2, filter, there's the days, comma, close, control, enter, day two and day three. OK, so we're going to use ifs with the same logical test, but we're going to pick out something from the row. We get a bunch of NAs. We want to push the values into a column. So we do to call. And look at that, ignore, comma, three. It's going to say forget you NAs, close parentheses. And right now that formula is working. But if I pick relay, there it is. I don't want day five, five. Well, the fix is unique. Control Enter. And now we have both formulas working. Aussie round. Well, we ran that just on day two. All right, so that was a bit of looking up from a rectangular range and pulling out either a row header. In this case, we had to deal with duplicates or looking something up in a rectangular range and pulling out the column headers. Now, I got to thank Excel Lambda for helping me out with these formulas. Man, what an amazing team we have. Go team. And we'll see you next video.